I'm the fifth generation on this farm. The family's been here for over 200 years. I've been dairy farming for probably a lot of that. My great-grandfather was involved in setting the local creamery up in 1899. So uh, the family's been involved in the dairy industry for a long time. We would have traditionally produced liquid milk for the creamery beside us. My name is Patrick Kelly and we're here at Waterwheel Farm in Kelly Garden in County Donegal. We have a 25 unit uh, dairy master milking parlour. The original parlour was built in 2001 and then uh, we upgraded the parlour two years ago with the latest technology. So effectively the same building but uh, new milking equipment installed. We're milking just over 300 Holstein Frisian cows. Our morning milking starts around half past six and we'll be finished at eight o'clock in the morning. We tend to have two people there. Uh, with the cluster removers now, it's possible to milk on your own, but I like to have two people there um, because there's other jobs to do. So somebody's bringing the cows in, or the other person started to milk. Uh, so you can have 50 cows milk before the last cows into the yard. The drafting gate was the first thing that we put in. We put that in a few years ago uh, before we actually updated the parlour and uh, probably an absolutely incredible piece of equipment. I'm a huge fan of the drafting gate. We have the three-way drafting gate there. Um, I would always advise farmers to think about using three-way because it gives you options um, and it just takes an enormous amount of work out and you have to have fairly good facilities around the tra drafting gate to be able to handle the cows. You know, you're, the way you think about the gates and the planning of it are very important. Of course, that meant we had to identify the, the, the tags on the cows to be able to use the reader boards. So it is uh, easy enough to upgrade the parter then to, to have the cows read for the feed to yield feeding system. In terms of saving money, the feed to yield, I've been very impressed with that. The kind of cow I have is not a high eating cow, it's a cow that supports off grass. So we're averaging about 6,000 or 6,500 litres of milk. Um, so they're peaking about 28 litres, so we're not really driving the yield on in terms of the way we feed the meat to them. Where it really came into its own last year was when the cows come up to the late lactation. In the past we were feeding a flat rate to all the cows and we were overfeeding quite a few cows. And um, I was able to save nearly 60 tonne of meal last autumn time and get the exact same amount of milk out of them. Um, because the cows that were producing the milk were being fed the meal and the cows that were coming well off their yields weren't being fed the meal that wasn't needed. We put in the um, cluster flush as well, but it, it tends to stop the spread of the, the mycetes inside the parlour. The new dump line is much better. Um, the way that is is because in the old dump line you had to manually switch it back. So if you have people milking cows and you've dumped the milk, if you don't think about it, the other cow that the machine is put onto will have the milk dumped as well. With the new system, she automatically switches back so that you don't end up having milk lost. So I'm very, very impressed with that feature of the new dump line. The dairy services here in Donegal um, give us very good support. They're on call all the time for any issues in terms of repairs. I've been using Dairy Master on this farm for, for over 25 years. A very good um, experience with it. I highly recommend the technologies they have. It's very important that farmers go and talk to other farmers and, um, and learn from them. Everybody's going to get a bit of guidance and advice from talking to other people. It's innovative in terms of the technology it uses.